And you're welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Our conversation is starting off with languages. How well do you speak your mother tongue? We live in an age where we hear lots of parents say, don't speak Igbo to my child, don't speak Yoruba to my child. And this is a problem. Why? Because UNESCO has said that linguistic diversity and multilingualism is necessary for the sustainable development of any nation. And we are fast losing ours. Now, did you know that sometime there was a language called Ajawa, and it was spoken in, I think, a Bauchi area, but it went extinct between 1920 and 1940. Why? Because the native speakers picked up Aosa as their language. So can you imagine that one day, Maybe there'll be no Yoruba or no Aosa or no Igbo because it's gone extinct because we are not speaking our languages. We headed out to test a few people and hear how well they can speak their languages. Enjoy. Nigeria is a nation with an estimated population of over 200 million people and described by its constitution as a democratic secular state. Nigeria is blessed with a cultural diversity with over 250 ethnic groups and 521 languages spoken across the land. <laughs> But <laughs> But in today's modern day society, loads of individuals across the country are forgetting their heritage, traditions, and beliefs, with less than 20% of the citizens speaking their native or mother tongues, with less and less of the over 500 languages either forgotten or not spoken anymore. More. So we met up with a cross section of Nigerians to know what part of the country they are from. I'm from mm, Borno. State. From Bias. I'm from uh, Delta State, besides Emo State. The Igbo speaking part of Nigeria, Ondo State. State. My name is um, I'm it's just American government. The East, South East, Emo State, to be precise. Ondo State. Thank you very much. If they spoke their mother tongues. Ah, uh, no. Uh, I just speak my native tongue. None of the two. Mother's tongue. I understand my, my native tongue. Yeah. Native tongue. And my mother's tongue at times. Mm, I speak my father language very well. Yeah. I'm not uh, too good at speaking. I'm I don't have any language. That is all. Native language. I can do. That. How many Nigerian languages do you speak? Well, I speak just one Nigerian language. I speak at least three. Four. Just Yoruba. Speak Ijo. Ibibio. Five language. Igbo. Igala. Yoruba. Igbo. English. Edo. None. Those are the only. Chibo, Kanuri, Baburabura. Then we asked if they could possibly say this statement. Our diversity is our unity in Nigeria. To be frank with you, I didn't know how to put it actually. English is not a Nigerian language, but um, I'm going to speak Igbo first. I think that's the best. That's the way I can say. Uh, 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 <laughs> Okay, old Mia Nigeria diversity community for Nigeria. The language I'm speaking is the jaw. Well, I can understand a bit of Yoruba, I can understand a bit of Igbo, but I cannot speak fluently. It's quite unfortunate. I can't say it the way it's meant to be. But what it means in my native language, Igbo language. Uh, here Chikotra, I name no, 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 and in Chadi, despite now in China the 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 iche that everyone will live the iche iche, there there is unity 
in that when iko jo po gugu wa ni shokan wa yo ba na ni kallara ndena ma ya o kada kwani ya kiji tidar ka sha ladar sunan tidar abara kadar bi kadar album mata tadar ta it's quite unfortunate i can't speak it fluently in my native language i can't say it iluwai si gugu wa ni i can't it's a shame but i can't sorry it's a shame but i can't a professor of languages states why this has become a trend in nigeria when people are carrying negative, you know, idea about a negative coloration, say, oh, make a nose speaker. Now, the language they speak, they will tell you, know you. Your language, now your identity. The consequence, we say, if we know they teach our children our own languages, after some time, our languages will come die. It will be like, say, we don't exist for world anymore. It will just be like, say, we just they roam up and down like common animals. What can be done to improve upon the death of Nigerian languages? One of the best ways of preserving a language is by making sure it is in writing. You reduce it to writing. Peter and make and say, look, the thing, the, the kind of like Bible. There's also using like hymn book. So you understand? Okay. Apart from that, the make and say that they teach them for nursery school, primary school, university. They go also, what you boy people they say, incentivize. What does that mean? We say, you go make sure anybody where they study them, you go give them special prize. We are familiar with the popular ones out of the 521 languages or more, but a vast majority are endangered and at risk of falling out of use, generally because it has few surviving speakers. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.